I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. This episode of Film Learning is brought to you by Wondershare's online uni converter. Roll the thing. This video sponsored. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. And on today's episode, we're doing another review. This time we're taking on Wondershare's online uni converter. Now this thing has a lot of different functions. It's a video editor, it's a video converter, it's a video compressor, it can make videos into GIFs, it can do a lot of stuff with videos and images and audio and even PDFs. So yeah, it's kind of like an online Swiss army knife, you know, without the stabbiness. So what I thought we'd do today is just jump onto the website and check out some of the functions. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay guys, so here we are in Wondershare's online uni converter. And you can see I've already logged in up here. And all we're gonna do is just convert a video. So I'm gonna go up to online tools, gonna go to video converter, and then we're gonna drag and drop our file. I'm just gonna click here. You can see in my examples here, I've got a .webm file, which you can't import into After Effects or Premiere Pro. So we'll select that, hit open, and all we need to do is just select our format. You can see there's quite a few different formats here, like a lot. And I'm just going to stick with the plain old MP4. And then we'll just hit convert. And what that's going to do is upload the file to their server, then it'll convert it, and it'll spit out a download link for you. All we have to do is wait. So you can see now that it's uploaded, it's changed to converting, and we just have to wait again. And once that's done, little download button will click up. And if you've done more than one, you can convert up to three different files. You can also do the download all button. I'm just going to hit the download button here. That's going to open up a new window. And you can see my download has already started. Once that's done, we're going to head over to Premiere Pro, open it up and see if it worked. So here we are in Premiere Pro. I've imported the video we just converted using the online uni converter. And if we click on it, you can see it works just fine. Pretty cool, huh? And it only took us, what, a couple of minutes? Okay, so the next online tool is the video compressor. So let's just jump into that and let's just grab it a file. So this is a really easy way of just compressing a video file without losing any quality to it. So I'm just gonna grab a file. Let's just grab, say, this Sonic Rings one. We'll drop that in. Now you can see that it shows our original file size, so that's 7.96 meg. Not a huge file size, but nevertheless. So you can change the resolution if you like. I'm just gonna keep it as the source layer. And you can see that the reset size is 2.39 meg. And if you click down here, you have the ability to make that a little bit bigger. So I only cut it by 50% or 60% or 70%. Let's just keep it on 30% right now. And you can also choose your format once again with a whole bunch of different options. I'm gonna keep this at MP4 and I'll just hit the compress button. So it's gonna start the uploading process, then skip over to the compressing process, and then it's gonna spit out my download link right here. So I'll just hit download. And you can see that's downloading right now. So you can see in the course of a minute or so, we now have a converted file. Okay, so our next tool is the video editor. So let's just click on that. And all we need to do is drag and drop or hit this to add a new video, which I'll do right now. And I'm just gonna grab this Simpsons Krusty Perkin and Addiction clip. That'll load up. And you can see we have a few options here. We have the ability to trim, crop, adjust, rotate, and flip. So let's start with the trim. Now, I'm not a big fan of this, mainly because I'm used to my editing suite being Premiere Pro, and I like a live update when I'm trying to trim a video. This is just a little bit too jittery, but this is their first generation of an online editor, so I'm gonna give them a, a pass on that, but this is one thing I won't be using. I'd rather edit it before I uploaded it here. Now the next one here is a crop. 
So you can see we have a couple of different ways we can crop this. We can use the customized one where we can just do it by hand. We have one to one. We have four to three classic TV, which actually helps us because this is a four to three clip. And then we have 16 by nine widescreen. So let's just keep this on classic TV and move forward. Next one is adjust. You can play with the saturation. You can play with the contrast and you can play with the brightness. That's all pretty much fine because it's a cartoon. The next one here is rotate. You can either rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm gonna leave this be. And the last one is flip. Now, if you wanna avoid a pesky copyright strike when you are messing with stuff like this, you can always just hit on horizontal. That's gonna fool it a little bit. Now, of course, it wouldn't be the online uni converter without a whole bunch of different video formats that you can play with. I'm just gonna stick with MP4 because it's a very, very common format. And all you gotta do then is hit start to convert it and you'll have an exported video. All right, so our next tool is video to GIF. Now this is a really, really cool one because usually I have to go into Photoshop and do a whole bunch of finagling to get these things out. And this is a really easy way to make a GIF. So let's just click on that. I'm gonna grab an example video. This time I'm gonna grab this Shredder one from the Ninja Turtles movie from 1990, absolute classic. And just gonna load that up. And then we can customize it from there. Alrighty, so that's uploaded the video. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of parameters that we can tweak. Now for starters, the frame rate here is on 16. I'm gonna bust that up to 24, just to make our GIF a little bit smoother. And next I'm gonna extend the timeline all the way to the end so that it encapsulates the entire clip. There we go. Nice. Now, from there, you can also change the output size. So you can go all the way up to 480p or 360 to 4144. I think I'm gonna leave that at 360p. So you'll see you also have the ability to add either text watermark just by typing something on there. I'm gonna click that off. Or you also have the ability to add an image watermark. I'm pretty happy with the way this looks, so I'm just gonna hit create GIF. And now we play the waiting game. So you can see that's done now. And it's showing us a preview of it. It looks a little janky at the moment, but I'm sure it'll be fine once we download it. So to download it, all we need to do is just hit the download button. So there you go, in the space of just a couple of minutes, we've converted a video to a GIF. Okay, so we've had a look at all the main tools here. Now the next one here is mute video. All that's really doing is just importing your video and removing the audio. There's nothing special about that. It's just a way to remove the music and the voice from any video. The import and export is exactly the same as the editor, the compressor, and the converter. Now the next one here is video analytics, and this actually opens up a different part of UniConverter. So if we click on that, you can see it opens up a new window that's called YouTube Video Analytics InfluX. So you have the ability here to paste in your YouTube video, just a URL right here, and you're gonna get all these stats and all the tags. So I've got a URL, I'm just gonna drop that in and hit the search button. And you can see it loads up my video, the views, it's got the estimated video value, the engagement rate, the <laughs> likes ratio, the amount of comments, all the tags. And if you need more insight, you can click on here. Now, as far as the rest of the tools go, they're all very consistent. The audio ones have an audio converter, an audio compressor and an MP3 converter. All those import and export the exact same way as the video converter, the video compressor, and the video editor. And likewise, we have the image section here that has an image converter, an image compressor, and an image to GIF section. And of course, we have a PDF editor and converter that also work the same way as the image, the audio, and the video. You import them and you export them. It's as simple as that. All this stuff is really, really easy to work with, and it only takes minutes to import your video and export it right back out again. So guys, that was Wondershare's online uni converter. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the review, and this is kind of a big thing, but that's all free. 100% free. My God. Now, as far as negatives go, guys, and I even feel a bit crappy talking about negatives of a free product that does this many things, but I am gonna have to single out the trim function of the video editor, not having a live update. It's really hard to trim down to a frame specific point in the video without a live update, 
but I'm sure that's something they can work on in the future. Oh, and before I forget, one other thing, with the online version of UniConverter, there is a maximum file upload of 100 megs, so that may actually hamper some of your uploads. But there is actually a solution to that, and that is the desktop version of One That Shares UniConverter. Zero second waiting for uploading and downloading, it is 30 times faster and has a lot more functionality. So if you wanna check that out, click the link down in the description. And that's it for this review episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And it does help out. And hey, if you aren't subscribed, there's a little subscribe button down there and you can click that notification bell so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I got two other episodes right over here. I've got all my social media stuff here if you wanna follow me on that and all that. I've also got the Patreon there if you wanna help support the channel. Or you can support us directly on YouTube with a membership by clicking that join button below. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning.